It's a bloodbath, Lieutenant. They've been murdered. Given the body temperature, I'd say they've been dead in no more than six hours. Greetings. Damn shame what they did to old Blanche. No kidding, rookie. Looks like they really put the cart before the horse. Hey there guys, my name is Jesse Cox, and today, we dramatically put on our sunglasses with a look at the level 10 to 15 zone of Westfall in World of Warcraft Cataclysm. Westfall, once the breadbasket of the Eastern Kingdoms, has fallen on hard times. Even with the Defias now gone for five years, the fallout from their reign can still be felt. To make matters worse, Stormwind is in the midst of the worst economic downturn in history, as all the gold spent on Varian's fight against the Scourge left everyone not connected to the military completely penniless or homeless. Those downtrodden souls have migrated into Westfall. With a power vacuum and the Alliance soldiers seemingly unsympathetic to the people's plight, many feel Times are worse now than when the Defias were in charge. As a result, unrest and hushed whispers of uprising fill the air. This is where you join the story, as the zone is told entirely through one overarching questline, a dark mystery, with characters inspired by the CSI television series. You first join Horatio Lane at the scene of the grisly murder of the Fulbrows and Old Blanche. As you soon come to find out, the other squatters and homeless on the land are less than helpful in solving the case. But the more you dig for answers, the more people end up dead. You are eventually drawn to the new and improved Sentinel Hill, only to discover that the army with full bellies turns away those homeless clamoring at their gates. With the help of a dark-haired woman named Hope, you manage to feed the homeless, but you sense she desires to do more, if only there were more like her. But men like Marshal Stoutmantle have other plans for the zone, as Knolls have grown more aggressive in their attacks. The army believes concern for the good of the kingdom outweighs concern for individual people. As you and Horatio dig deeper, you discover the same dark forces at work in Elwyn Forest are slowly moving against the Alliance in Westfall as well. And as if a messenger of doom, a mysterious figures uniting the ogres, gnolls, and goblins is something called the Dawning. What's worse is that this same mysterious figure has convinced much of the homeless population to join the cause. And in the end, the question becomes, who is behind it all? What is the Dawning? And more importantly, what do they want? Please click the annotation to return to the world map.